Day two in Dubai, although technically it's actually day one because I woke up the same day that I arrived. I just really needed some sleep. Anyway, um, hopping in the Lamborghini. If you watched the end of yesterday's vlog, you'll know that Lamborghini very kindly gave me the keys to a Huracan Performante for the duration of my time here in Dubai. Uh, but today feels a little bit of a, like a rush job. I've woken up, the Emirates production team have said you need to be at this address, at this golf course, at this time to pick up the Rolls Royce. <laughs> Check this out. Only in Dubai would you come out and find another outrageously specced Hurricane. How cool is that? I don't know the name of the color, but I love the fact that they've gone and matched the brake calipers with the bodywork. Anyway, I don't have too much time to hang around. I've got to get myself to this golf course, jump in the Hurricane, hit this town. This is so cool. How crazy is it? Flown halfway around the world and landed to a Puffamante. What is going on? Anyway, it's, uh, this has to be one of my favorite features of Lamborghinis. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> I really feel like I'm in Lambo territory right now. Everything about Dubai is so eccentric. I mean, the rate of development here is relentless. They reckoned at one point Dubai was home to 70% of the world's cranes. I mean, <laughs> like in what world? And to be honest, I'm looking around right now, I would say that's probably still the case. There is not a single degree of skyline where you look and there isn't a form of construction taking place. And obviously surrounding that is lots of cranes. The two takeaways that I experience after stepping out of a Puffamante is first of all, the phenomenal gearbox. Now Lamborghinis of old, I've never been a massive fan of the way those things shifted gear, predominantly because it was a single clutch. Even the Aventador, as, as sort of rapid as that shift is, it's still not quite as razor sharp as you would find in a twin clutch box like this. One thing Lambo have absolutely nailed with this car is the gearbox. Listen to this. Tone change. It is a seamless tone change. Listen to that and the overrun. Good lord. Lambo do drama so good. I mean, just listen to these downshifts. <laughs> and that pop and bang very uh, nicely took me on to the next feature, which is the sound. <laughs> the sound is phenomenal. This is an entirely stock car. Lamborghini, I'm finding, are one of the few brands that you get in the car and you think this actually doesn't need an exhaust, which in this day and age is crazy. We have arrived at the golf course, otherwise known as the Ells Club here in Dubai. Looks like quite the resplendent venue. Anyway, here we are. This, right now I'm just kind of standing here waiting for our truck. Oh yeah, this by the way is our truck that is uh, delivering the Rolls Royce, which we last saw in the UK. Um, yeah, so these guys, Thad and Nathan, are currently debating what the best angle is of which to set up this beautiful shot. I totally get it because we've only got one chance of doing this, so we need to get it right. It's nice to be able to just sort of wing it, like document as it happens. It's a nice way of working.
voila! There it is! You've seen it, if you watched the last vlog, you'll know merely hours ago we saw this thing. It was just dropping below zero in the UK. It was wet, it was cold, it was autumn. And now here it is, in all of its chitty chitty bang bang glory. Literally, all I did was drop the keys off to a gentleman. And here it is. I can get used to traveling the world like this. So Thad's are asking a biggie. What is your around the world car? B comments below. One car, you gotta do a global road trip, hand the keys each stage, car gets dropped off. What car's it gonna be? And why? Because you might be like a Dakar kind of guy and wanna go explore the deserts, yeah. or you might be like an Alpine Pass kind of guy and wanna go and explore some nice mountain roads. You need so. some diversity, because yeah. you're gonna have to log lots of miles. Exactly. It yeah. has to be fast, but not too fast. True. Yeah. Comfy. Yeah. By hand. We're gonna have a think about this and we'll, uh, we'll include ours maybe in tomorrow's video, maybe? Yeah. We'll let it, let it sink in a bit. All right, seamless transition to darkness. Clearly, it's the end of the day. That's it for filming with Emirates and the Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead. It's definitely been one of the more wackier <laughs> projects I've been involved in. Fantastically, they let me park the Huracan Puffamante right outside this fantastic hall here where the team here have gone and set up what smells like one of the most fantastic barbecues I have had the pleasure to induce into my nostrils in quite a long time. Check this out. Look at this. Man, this is so good. For me, this is extra special because it is November the 2nd. Uh, I left England yesterday and it was just dropping below freezing. So to be here in this open air, like this big, smelling the barbecue, you just walk up, pick what you want, the guys throw it on the barbecue. It's still about 20 degrees. As you can see, the sun's gone down completely. Um, yeah, just gonna, just gonna get involved in some of this barbecue. Day one in Dubai. You just get back in the hotel. So much cooler in here. Um, phenomenal first day. Absolutely amazing. Everyone that I've uh, encountered and worked with so far has been amazing. We've also been uh, graced with the awesomeness that is that Huracan Puffamante, which has been absolutely outrageously cool. So we're back where we started, Dubai Marina. It's been a fantastic day, but I'm still pretty jet lagged. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to sign off be sure to check out tomorrow's video. As always guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.